Hello everybody, welcome back to Art Symbol Studios. I have a set of 12 watercolor pencils here from Durvent. These are one of my favorites. It's all basically that you need if you want to take it sketching somewhere with you. It's very compact, has all of your main colors, and you can basically mix anything else with it. Instead of just using watercolor pencils exclusively, which of course you can do, you don't have to have other mediums. In my case though, I like to use my watercolor pencils with other water-based media. So I'm gonna do what I usually do and walk you through some tips while I'm working on my painting. I have the Strathmore watercolor paper and cold press, 140 pounds. It's pretty heavy, it's nice. I don't have any issues with this. A set of Derwent's watercolor pencils, a sharpener, some water, some stiff brushes, and this is uh, synthetic and just easy to kind of scribble the color. I have the Liquid Hex Acrylic Ink. I have Drawing Ink. A gouache. A knife for shavings. Watercolor in the tube. Watercolor in the pen. Watercolor stick. I have an ink in a pen form and this is just a soft pastel. I'll show you how to use it. And I have a rag just to make sure I don't have too much water on my brush. Tip number one, use watercolor pencil to draw your outlines. So instead of your standard graphite pencil, you can use different colors. If you have a light colored subject, for example, and don't want to see gray graphite lines when you're done, apply watercolor pencil instead, and all the lines can be dissolved with water later on. Usually you can erase mistakes with eraser pretty easily too, so it doesn't really act like colored pencil, so very convenient. Tip number two. Use pencil like you would use colored pencil to block out colors. Go lightly. When you activate the pigment with water, it will be a lot more saturated. Watercolor rules apply. Go from light to dark. If you want to keep light color, put it down first. Then use wet brush to activate pigment. Let it dry and then begin applying darker pigments. Tip number three. You can lay a watercolor pencil with other water-based media. Any type of watercolors from the pen, sticks, gouache, mix it with pens, inks, pastels, acrylics, just make sure it's not the glossy finish acrylic. Tip number four. Pick up some pigment from the pencil on a wet brush and add pigment to the paper with the brush. Here I'm just going between different watercolor types and my watercolor pencils. I use watercolor out of the tube to get a lot of saturated pigment quickly on my paper, but you can use only pencils for it. Scribble directly on the paper or pick up pigment with a brush. Tip number five, wet the brush and keep more water on the brush. Saturate the pencil tip with water and splatter pigment on the surface. You can splatter it on a wet surface for more soft effects or on a dry surface for more sharp look. Tip number six. You can apply multiple colors to the same area to create new color and color variations. Here I'm adding red and brown to the orange, but you can create 
purples or greens just as easily. Remember, it will get more vibrant when you activate the pigment, so you don't have to try to cover the surface like with the colored pencil. Tip number seven, wet your surface or put on a background color and while it's still wet, put some pencil shavings on a wet surface. You can use different colors for it and create cool effects. Tip number eight, use your watercolor pencils to create depth and definition. This is actually how I usually use pencils. After I'm done with my watercolor, I'll put pencil and gouache to define some details. Tip number nine, when activating pigments, make sure to control amount of water on your brush and rinse your brush fairly often so you don't contaminate other areas. Tip number 10, use soft pastels on top of your dry pigments to soften the hard edges and create different effects. You don't have to use white, you can use any color to complement your painting. Don't forget to use watercolor paper with the watercolor pencils and use stiff synthetic brushes that don't hold a lot of water to activate your pencils. Thank you so much for watching, please like, subscribe, love to all and have a great day!